What's going on guys? Today we're gonna deep dive into what happened in 2021 and also go over statistics on what's gonna happen in 2022. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so 2021 shaped up to be a really strong seller's market. Now, in the fourth quarter of 2021, we did experience what I predicted as a seasonal winter in the business. So for real estate, all that means is not as many people are selling or buying, really around the holidays specifically, because they just wanted to enjoy the holidays with their friends and family. So now, going into 2022, Dalal Properties and our team specifically, we're looking forward to a really strong 2022. All right, guys, and if you can see right here, the new listing slide, you can see that we are outpacing ourselves in this category by over a thousand new listings this year in 2021, as opposed to last year in 2020. If you also look at the closed slides, you can see that we're outpacing ourselves by just shy of 1,500 listings closed this year, as opposed to this time last year. What I want to drive home here is that you can see that supply is not catching up to demand. So there's over 418 buyers plus still looking for product to purchase, whether it's a resale or it's new construction. Now, if you look at days on market, you can see in 2020, the average days on market was 53 days until you ultimately got a contract for your listing. And now that's down to 29 days on market before you get a contract. You can also see on this slide right here, the average price has increased over $40,000, which guys is a huge increase in what your house is worth. So it's definitely a good time to be a seller for sure. Mo definitely moving into 2022 as well. And if you look at this slide here, you can see that on average, a seller is getting 100.2% of what they list their house for, which is a big deal. Now, if your house is worth above $500,000, you're getting just shy of 100% of what you listed your house for. On the other side of the fence, if you're $300,000 or below, because that's really the meat of the market right now, around 325, you're actually getting a little bit more than 100.2% of your list price. Now, inventory overall, we're floating around two months of inventory. What that means is if nothing else was listed from today on, it would take less than two months for there to be nothing for sale. So that means that we are very heavily in a seller's market. To make that make sense, if you have five months of inventory, then that really is a level market. For every one seller, there's one buyer. Anything below five months of inventory is a seller's market. Anything above five months is a buyer's market. Now looking into 2022, multiple members of the Fed have mentioned between one and three, maybe even four rate hikes for this year. What that means for you guys is if you look at the total of what they're going to increase the interest rates for is a total of 1%. If that happens, then your buyer power for what you can afford just off uh, interest rates of, alone are going to decrease by 10%. So if you're looking to buy a $200,000 house, your buying power now, just based off everything else staying the same and interest rates rising 1%, you can afford 10% less of what you could have last year. All that being said is if you're even thinking about making a move in 2022, do it now. Take advantage of what the rates are now as a seller and equally as a buyer. Thank you so much for your time, guys. And remember with Delisle Properties, luxury always comes standard.